what I found out was that there's this whole universe of fantastic, powerful women out there, Iranian American women out there, the movers, the shakers, the thinkers, the builders, they're all out there. And that I'm, you know, this whole world of them, and it was so exciting, and it was so well organized, and it was so well done, and it was so amazingly powerful to come across these women and have these women come up to you and ask you so what's your story because there was a true and genuine interest to find out each other's stories everything about the conference was so inspiring and so empowering and i'm going to use the word love because that's how you felt you felt so connected to all these women that were so accomplished and they were all there to share the same story. At the end of the day it was the same story, to be committed to what you do, to be passionate and then to share the wealth, share the knowledge and the experience with one another. So at the end of the day I came away thinking my cup was full and it was such a great feeling to have and you could sense that around the crowd, all women, all, particularly younger women who attended. So I think it was a major success. At the conference actually raised my expectation because uh, of the quality of the women who were presenting, quality of the women who uh, produced and created and organized the, the whole conference, the professionalness of all of them, um, and the quality of the audience and uh, the receptivity of the audience and the way that they were um, encouraging to and receiving information was uh, beyond my expectation. So next year, I'm assuming, now I'm coming back with high expectation, <laughs> and I'm positive that the group is going to meet it again. When I look at the Iranian American Women's Conference, um, I think about the California Governor's Conference for Women and how that started and um, where it has evolved to today. I see the same pro progression for the Iranian American Women's Conference. More than anything else, I was inspired at the end of the day to see so many well accomplished, so many wonderful Iranian American women who have made a difference not only in their families, in their lives, but in the community at large. Uh, I was so proud to be a part of it. I was so inspired by all the stories I heard. Anytime we can create awareness for our diaspora is a positive thing. So to the extent that we can export this, broaden this, I, I would certainly be very um, supportive of it. When you connect in power, everybody feels empowered. When you're sitting there and you just watch uh, the ceiling rise. You just watch it. It's like, I thought this was my limitation or this was the limitation of a female in the world and suddenly you look at the people who are there, listen to their stories and how they came about and giving you the information as a gift, the ceiling just raised. We have so many accomplished women, Iranian-American women, that have come here over the last 20, 30 years since we all migrated here that have done tremendous. And I feel a lot of it has been done quietly. And uh, there has never been such a vehicle to connect all of us, and uh, not only to give recognition, to have that networking built, and also to inspire the younger generation of Iranian-American women uh, to learn and for us to be mentors and for us to just uh, make our voices hear, heard more. One of the other enriching benefits of this conference was to walk away uh, ha having participated in one of the panels. There were a number of younger women who came up to me afterwards and asked me a lot of questions. And you know, I think that this sort of conference gives you the confidence to believe. And you can dream big and it is possible to achieve what you want to achieve in whatever scale you want to achieve it. So I think it, it definitely um, awakened people to what's out there just as it did me. And I'm very involved in this society, but it still uh, gave me greater awareness. So I think it gave 
our younger um, group of women a lot more awareness and role models um, and mentors maybe to fashion oneself after and do better then because I think the newer generation the younger generation of Iranian American women are a true force to reckon with I think women make very good leaders. Uh, if you really think about women, uh, leadership is inherent in their, uh, in their attributes. Um, this conference will demonstrate this attribute more so and encourage more women to take more leadership roles in all aspects of life. I think this kind of uh, gathering, empowering women, empowering girls, empowering community are investing uh, for long term. Uh, educating women is educating communities, educating families. It's planting seeds that will, uh, will empower generation after generation. So I think this networking of women is going to continue, hopefully, to build other uh, opportunities for women and younger women to get more involved and to get more active and to be able to uh, recognize their accomplishments and to do more. The highlight of the conference for me was when Anusha Ansari was talking as part of her panel and she was talking about her experience in deep space, how she was looking at the earth and how it made her feel all so powerful. But then when she looked behind her, she saw the vastness of the universe and how, uh, what a humbling experience that was and how fantastic it was to feel so powerful and yet so humble at the same time. The significance of this conference uh, was that even though we have so many successful women, we had never showcased them in one place. And this was the first time that we could see so, such a powerhouse of women uh, to come together and present themselves and present our community.